Hey guys, so while I'm waiting for my well to be dug over there, uh, I thought I'd uh, do a video on a uh, new toy that I have now. And it is a uh, PCP 22 caliber uh, air rifle. And uh, this is an Aspen air rifle. There's quite a few reviews on it out there in YouTube land. Uh, and I'm not doing a review necessarily. I'm just uh, kind of showing you my new gadget. And um, I've been waiting for one of these for so long. And that is a PCP air rifle that you can hand pump right from the gun. And uh, that is a unique and a great, great thing to have. Um, you know, if you're carrying around bottles of air and have to fill them up, uh, with the bottle and then refill them from some shop somewhere. Uh, what a pain in the butt. This here is all one piece. It's all one package. You don't have to do anything except pump it. Uh, and um, you get phenomenal accuracy and speed on these things. I mean, these are deadly air guns. I mean, this is not only that, but like I said, they're consistent and accurate. I've had spring piston air guns. I've had the nitro air guns. Um, they just, to me, are not consistently accurate. I'll get them sighted in, and then I'll use it again at another point, and uh, it never seems to keep its accuracy. Uh, I've never had a problem. Actually, I had a Benjamin air rifle when I was growing up, uh, the pump air rifle. That was more consistent than the spring uh, air guns and the nitros. Uh, and uh, this is, you know, essentially a pneumatic air gun that holds the air and then pushes that air out uh, from the compressed uh, air chamber right here. And, uh, but it's at a higher pressure, I think 3,600 PSI, I, I forgot what it is, but it has a it's kind of a green indicator where you go and you don't want to go into the red. It gets a little too uh, much pressure for the chamber but uh this is a really solid air gun cost me 300 dollars uh, now that's without the scope and then also i added a suppressor uh, and this is a dynamite suppressor if you want to do some backyard plinking uh, but i'm out here at my land today and uh, i'm going to take a few shots with it and give you an idea of uh, what it can do so here you can see that there's a magazine that comes with the gun. There's actually two magazines. And you fill these up, it holds 10 rounds. And uh, it's really awesome. This is another awesome thing about this gun, is that you can take multiple shots without having to pump. You wanna be careful because you don't wanna to go too low on the pressure because then it will affect the accuracy and speed. But um, I could take you know three or four shots with no problem. Uh, you just have more pumping to do once you have to get it back up to the, uh, the green red area uh, to equalize the pressure. Uh, but otherwise, uh, this, is, this is a game changer to me is that you have these. Um, and so here's your, here's your lever to open the chamber. And what you'll do is you'll put, you'll slide this in like so. You'll slide it right in here like that and it's ready to go. Now you got to make sure that your scope is not in the way of this magazine. So I had to do a little bit of adjustment back and forth to make sure that it's not rubbing up against it and not seating properly. Uh, but once you get that done, it's uh, just an easy slip in and now it's ready to look, uh, cock. So you just push this in and now there's a pellet loaded into the chamber. Pretty awesome. And then the other thing is the safety here. Really nice safety, very easy to use. Very simple. And uh, so really the ergonomics features of this gun, it's a little on the heavy side, but you know, for all the features it has, so far I am really impressed with this gun. I don't think I've, I know I haven't had a better air rifle than this one here.
So I got a target down at the uh, end of the range here. And uh, this is a 30 yards from here. Uh, and uh, so it's not super far, but uh, I tell you what, I shot at a target down there at that wood and it went right through that plywood, no problem at 30 yards. Um, it's got a lot of power. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up and uh, take a few shots. See there, I pulled back and then I'm gonna put in the next round. air into the chamber. Uh, I'm going to do one more shot. You can hear the slap on that metal. It is just a powerful air rifle. This is it 30 yards? Let's go check it out. You can see where most of them are hitting. So we got most of the grouping right in this area here. There's a flyer there. Uh, so I was aiming right on the target there. And I was aiming, uh, shooting just a little high. So next I'm going to go ahead and shoot at the top one here. I might put my sights just a little lower so that it comes in there. And so I'll keep the uh, camera right here. All right, so there you go. That was just uh, regular shooting by little old me. And I'll show you the uh, result of the pellet. It's pretty amazing. This is one of those Diablo heavy, uh, uh, heavy pellets. Look at that. Look how thin it is. See that? It just completely disintegrated on those Diablo heavy, heavy pellets. I mean, there's nothing left really of it. Can you imagine what that would do to uh, a target a prey like a rabbit or coyote or whatever, even hogs. You, you see, you actually see some of those uh, videos out there where they're hunting hogs with uh, this gun. And that's uh, pretty impressive. So obviously you don't shoot at super long ranges, but Man, for an air gun, this thing is just amazing. Oh, by the way, those three shots that I made were without pumping the gun. So I did all of those shots in sequence without re-pumping. All I was doing was loading the next pellet in the chamber, and uh, and that's what you get. What it does mean, though, is you got to pump more once you do have to pump. Generally, if you're going to uh, make a shot. It's a good idea to pump because you're only going to do it five or six times. But now I'm going to have to do it about 15 times to get it back to the pressure that I need it to be at. Okay, I'm going to show you how to load the magazine. It's a little confusing if you haven't done it before. But you want to go this way cl clockwise so that you feel that spring. It's real easy to go the other way and think that you're doing it right and fill it up and then you're messed up. You got to go this way all the way around. You'll feel the tension. And you want it to be where the hole is, that first hole is there. And that's your initial hole. And you're gonna to wanna to put your finger behind it so that it doesn't slip out the other side, just like that. 
And now we can go this way and this inside spindle is not gonna move around because it's being stopped by that one pellet. So now we're gonna load up the rest of them like so. It's gonna be an, uh, a total of 10 that we're gonna put in here. And there we are. So now we have it completely ready. That's what it should look like right there. Cause you need to be able to punch the pin of the uh, chambering, whatever, uh, through so that it pushes that pellet into the chamber. And I didn't mention about a uh, low and high setting on the back end here. There's a low and high setting here. I got it on high. I haven't really shot it with a low setting, but uh, you know, if you want to conserve on the air that's coming out of here, you can set it on low just by moving that dial. And so that is an option. And you also have a lock for the uh, pump mechanism here. So you can do that and that way this won't come out um, and fall on you. But it didn't really fall, at least not right now. So. I kind of keep it unlocked because it's not really a necessity right now. Now I'm a little low on uh, air. You can see here it's not up to the top of the green. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a few pumps here, probably about 10 or 12 pumps, and get it up to that level so that we have a consistent amount of pressure in the chamber. All right, so that's 12 right there. And you can see here, it's at the ideal pressure. So now I'm gonna go ahead and chamber around. And I've already pulled it back because you have to in order to insert the magazine. So you just do that and it chambered the first round just like that. So if you are looking for a gun and you want something reliable, accurate, all self-contained, this is it. I mean, uh, I have seen some reviews out there, some issues with uh, the seal. Uh, I'm hoping that with regular lubrication that I'm not gonna run into that problem. Uh, but I have to say, this is a joy to shoot. It is amazing. Again, it doesn't come with a scope and it doesn't come with a suppressor. The suppressor is pretty great. Um, you have to check it out uh, at the website. It's I think Donnie FL. And uh, they actually gave me a recommendation uh, for this particular air rifle for this exact suppressor and it needs an adapter that screws in. Very simple to install. It takes me about two minutes to put it in, just screwing it in, unscrewing the cap and then screwing it in. Um, and that'll reduce the noise level. So if you're doing backyard plinking, uh, that'll help a lot. Um, and even out here, if you're shooting prey and you wanna take another shot, they may not run away if the noise isn't that loud. And so that's a really good uh, accessory to have on this gun. It cost me uh, $99 for the suppressor and $45 for the um, adapter. And uh, you just wanna make sure you get the right one. And so the total with uh, tax and shipping was $159. So that's... Uh, in addition to the 300 and then you got to get the scope of course uh but you can get you know a cheap scope you don't have to have anything super expensive this is a three by nine and uh anyway i just absolutely love this gun absolutely love it let me show you the uh, pellets i'm using so these are diablo exact jumbo heavy uh pellets 18.13 grams um and uh, 22 caliber. So this is what I've been using and that's what seems to be recommended out there in pellet gun land for this particular pellet gun. Uh, it's a heavier pellet, it's gonna have a bigger impact. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, there'll be more to come. Hopefully the next one will be the well video and I'll, I'll love to show that to you once it's all done. So take care and I'll see you on the next video.